There we go. Game number one can finally get started. My score screen is not always working with me 100% well. But let's introduce our players. Spawning in the top left-hand corner of the map. For, for team property, we have Snuffet. And Snuffa will be facing off against the purple Zerg player spawning in the bottom right hand corner of the map. It is going to be a roof for Team Neurosoft. Now a ZVZ on a very large map. It has been quite some time since I've seen a good ZVZ on this map. So I'm not worried a single bit. But we might have some shenanigans coming down from Snuffa. Do I say that correctly? No, from roof of course. Snuffa is getting his overlord very normally, but Roof is getting that gas first into that spawning pool and immediately starting to mine from that extractor too, so he is going to go for a big speedling attack very soon and very early on in this game, and it's going to be a while before these players are going to scout each other out. Now normally the first scouting moment, if there is cross positions, is of course that an overlord will spot each other in the bottom left or in the bottom right depending on where the players are actually spawning but with that overlord for roof being very much delayed it's going to be a while before they will cross paths in that bottom left hand corner now we even see that snuffa is going to go for an expansion first roof has deducted correctly that snuffa is going to go for that little bit more greedy play but he is going to be rambling down that wall pretty soon Zergling speed already going to be on the way. The first Zerglings and the Queen on the way for Roof 2. He of course does not know where he has to send those Zerglings. So of course he is prioritizing that Queen because of that. Now on the other side of the map we do see that Snuff has started his gas mining too. So he's not going to be too far behind with his Zergling speed. But that is still going to be a window of multiple minutes. The spawning pool is halfway of the way completed. So he's probably going to be able to produce Zerglings by the time that he gets across the map. But let's see how this is going to go. The Zerglings are getting pulled up into the main base. First he wants to know where his opponent is before he's going to send them across the map. It looks like there are already six Zerglings out. Four more on the way. Zergling speed. Just a little over half a, uh, just little over half a minute before that is finished. And he has sent them across the map. He's not 100% sure yet if he is in the top left or in the bottom right hand corner. But these overlords should be able to spot each other fairly soon. But he is ga gambling on that cross positions. Of course that is the longest distance you can travel. But only Zerglings on the production tab for Roof. He wants to be very aggressive. He does not want this to take too, too long. And he has a very good chance in making this work. Queen is not out just yet. The first two Zerglings have spotted that there are a lot of Zerglings coming into the base of Snuffa. Spinecrawler immediately does get started. The Queen is just popping. But the Queen immediately gets focus fired down. Does it get taken out? No, it does survive so far. But those are already speedlings. Speed for Snuffa not quite done just yet. This is also, of course, a lot of lost mining time. Now the natural base is up and mining with a few of those drones just right there. Queen out of position will get taken out. But there's another queen already there to replace that. But it does fall too. And this is not looking good for Snuffa at all. Drones fighting Zerglings. And there is the end of the game. Roof taking game number one for Team Neurosoft.